welcome back to the channel so today we are going to do some thrifting my plan is to find some things for our master bedroom makeover so we share a room with the baby and so I want to create a space that's calming yet um, you know baby friendly and all that so I'm gonna try to find some things on a budget I'm gonna hit up my thrift stores today I'm hoping to find something throughout the like neighborhoods that I drive by and also I'm gonna go to the Goodwills today um, and just see what they have I also need to drop off some things at the Goodwill so I need to do that I need to actually run back in the house and grab that bag since I'm just talking about it we're actually headed off I got the girls sorry if it's dark guys I was trying to get in some light but um, I got the girls with me the baby and so we have to pick up my daughter at 4 30 it's about 3 30 now so we have a little time and then i'll finish up everything else after i pick her up but hopefully i find some things today hopefully fingers crossed right so um yeah so we can stay on a budget with this makeover since we're renting we're not trying to go all out i'm hoping to find some wallpaper though that's probably the only thing i want to like spend a lot of money on we're only doing the bedroom right now i'm not doing the bathroom i'm gonna do that on another video but if i find some things for the bathroom then i'll include it in this video as well so stay tuned for more guys and if you like these type of videos please comment like and subscribe <laughs> all right so now we are here now i'm headed to the gas station um it's so random but this guy was standing on the side of the thrift store and i thought that he owned the thrift store but it turns out i don't know he had a whole truck full of stuff and so in exchange for ten dollars for gas he gave me like a basket, a plant, and this courtward mail sorter. So that's pretty cool. Hold on, stop. Say cheese. <laughs> welcome back to our channel guys my name is Ashley if you're new here and thanks for stopping and clicking on this video this thrift with me is something special because I am going to be making over our master bedroom and I'm enjoying finding all the different pieces to make the space special and yeah so I've been going to different thrift stores and I love it because I'm new to Pensacola and I get to meet so many different people I love community I love small town vibes and yeah I love all of the things so it makes it special when I can find something and I can make it over or, or just give it a new purpose. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see what I get and how I transform it. So I am at the Goodwill. I am at the Goodwill right now. They are currently closed. I, ooh, there's a bee. Lord have mercy. Oh, I just left the thing open like that. Where is it? Where did it go? Jesus. Oh God. There's a wall. Ah! So what I was trying to say is, I am dropping off the stuff at the Goodwill. Um, I went to go in to get some stuff but they are closed I, I came I came right at like 5 59 6 o'clock and so she met me at the door we're closed I was like oh man I didn't even realize I had no sense of time but anyways I'm dropping this stuff off here on um, this bag and I'm also dropping this thing off um, apparently I'm not gonna be able to use it I'm just not gonna be able to use that so yeah I'm not gonna be able to use that the guy just gave it to me and also i have a fear of bees like i always get stung no matter if i try to run um lately i've had almost four bee attacks but i haven't been stung yet so three of those happened at work and just now you guys just witnessed I'm going to wrap up today's finds. I spent $26 so far and I'm just needing some curtains and some other little knickknacks and then I'll be set. So until then, random car showing up behind me. Let me go in. <laughs> but I'm out. I'll see you guys in a minute. Psh, tomorrow. Psh. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Children. Peace. Whatever.
Anyway. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, so many things I need to show you guys when I get back to the house. We're gonna start spray painting and everything when I get back. But right now I am at the Teen Challenge Super Thrift Store. So anyways, I'm here, I'm, I'm in the car, I'm by myself, solo. I have to get out, I'm gonna show you guys what I get. So I got my little church dress on. I had to um, go to my daughter's award ceremony. She just had a ceremony, she got a gifted, um, certificate and then she got like a uh, band certificate she's in band and gifted she also has a ab a honor roll all year so can't complain there so proud of her and yeah so i will see you guys in the store uh, the afternoon, but, uh, yeah, we've got some so I'm gonna try to make this real quick it's noisy out here but I want to show you guys what I got yesterday I didn't get a chance to show you but these are some little finds from the basically the same thrift store but it's like a different one it's like a sister store but anyways it was all these things came from a thrift store besides this in this basket so this right here came from a man who was um, actually uh, homeless whatever he was at the thrift store and he was like hey can you buy some of the things in my car so long story short I got this and this and a plant that's a pothos plant that's inside I got those things yesterday and I got this from the thrift store and I thought this was cool to go on top of the dresser I'm not sure how I'm gonna decorate it, but I just wanted to utilize these finds. I got this basket from a, like a yard sale a couple um, weeks ago when I was doing the backyard. So if you hadn't seen that video, go check that out. I have the baskets up here, but I don't know if I want to keep them up there. They kind of just wouldn't hanging right, and I don't want to put any holes in it because we're renting. So I had some tape up there, but I'm just gonna move these baskets to the um, bedroom with the other baskets I just showed you guys and make like a little basket wall art situation got some uh sheer curtains window pane panels so i got these sheer window panels yesterday from the dollar store they are five bucks so i got four of these and these curtain rods i'm going to spray paint those gold and yeah so i basically am finished with everything i just got to put it all together Guys, the frames on here were so weird. You had to like unscrew it with a screwdriver. They had screws. It wasn't your traditional frame and they were super dirty. So I gave them a quick clean and I sprayed them a coat of metallic spray paint and it just basically brought it back to life. Spray paint is like everything. So I found this chest at the thrift store for 40 bucks. It's real wood and I'm so happy because it works out perfectly for what I need it for. I'm going to be using it for baby Levi's clothes and the top dresser drawer has like small sections so I can put the bibs and the socks and everything that he needs in there. So I love it and I started off by taking all of the hardware off. And it's in good condition. Someone was giving this away. They gave it or they donated it to the thrift store and they sold it to me. But still, it was someone else's trash. And now it's my treasure because it turned out so beautiful. So after I removed the hardware, I gave it a good wipe down. It had a few pieces of like gunk stuck on it, but after I sanded it down and everything, it turned out fine. I got this sander from 
Walmart about 20 to 25 dollars about five years ago and it still works just fine and yeah so I, I sanded the top down really good because I wanted to make sure that that's the place where things are going to be sat on and I want to make sure that the paint doesn't chip but I gave everything else a good um well like a light sanding and yeah it's just it was fine I love doing this part of the home projects like I like sanding I don't know some people hate sanding but I really enjoy it I think it's satisfying and I just don't like the painting if that makes sense and I know some people love the painting so teach their own So this was in the garage already. Um, I just broke the seal off of it. Um, I didn't know how to open it, but I'm just gonna pour it from here, I guess. And yeah, um, don't, I don't really know what color it is, but I think it's white. And if it is, I'm gonna use this to paint the um, dresser. So I don't have to spend any money on paint. And yeah, so let's see if it, what color it is. <laughs> this is what we got going on. Got a painter. So this is the color. Ooh, it looks so bad. But I'm mixing it up. It's been sitting in that bucket for I don't know how long. And I don't know what color this is, but I think I'm gonna use it. It's very oily. I'm just gonna mix this up, okay? And see how it turns out. So it's showing up like a grayish color. I'm gonna bring it to the light, but this is what it's looking like. So this is what it's looking like mixed in. I'm gonna show you guys in the light what it looks like. Get over here. You guys can really see the color. Oops, bad idea. But anyways, it's like a grayish taupe color. I don't know, but yeah, I think I'm gonna use this. Matter of fact, I know I'm gonna use this. This bucket is almost filled. I have plenty, so yeah, let's just keep on it. So I added this white paint to the paint um because i wanted it a little lighter a little wider and so it gave it a different tone and i like it i think it it, it really works for what i was trying to go for and guys to be honest i believe that that paint is the paint that's on our walls because this was in the garage and yeah so it was free and it's here and i used it and i loved how it turned out also, I want to take the time to say thank you guys for all the people who commented on the last video, the boho video um, of the patio, sorry, the boho patio video. Thanks for all the people who commented and who have subscribed since then. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers, so I'll be doing a giveaway very soon. So thank you. Thank you guys again. I love how it turned out it's so pretty and it is just what I needed for the space stay tuned for the rest of the video so you can see how I like put it all together with the frames and like the decor pieces that I have for the baby section of the bedroom and you don't want to miss like the room reveal when I do the whole bedroom all together so make sure you have your notifications on for that and yes, I did add a top coat on it and yeah, to finish it off so that way it doesn't have any scratches. So yesterday, last night, I um, repotted some of our plants and I started propagating. So that's something new that I'm picking up. So hopefully this one can grow some roots. But yeah, so I had this one. It was just a little heart shaped leaf and now we have a few leaves and so I just repotted it because it was in one of these 
smaller containers. And then this one, one my students gave me this. And then my, me and my daughter planted these two. And this one was propagated from the mother plant, which is over there. And this one was in a small container like this. So I just replanted it, repotted it. And this one doesn't have a home yet. I'm going to find a pot for it. I actually just bought a pot, so that'll go in there. Um, also, we have small, small ants here. So if anybody can help us out, like, we are new to this. Like, there are so many. Like, I sprayed. It looked way better than it was because it was, like, a whole bunch of ants all over the place. So we still have a few. But I put vinegar down, vinegar and water. I put vinegar and water down, and, yeah, I still have a few. So here are the rest of the ones that I have. I replanted, repotted a few of them already. And so I have them in different places in the house. I just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like. And in my room makeover, you're going to see a lot of these plants moved into there just to give the space some decor. I love decorating with plants. I think they bring life. I think they bring a touch of color. And yeah, so I'm about to give you guys the reveal for the dresser and the frames and all the things guys stay tuned for more and don't forget to like comment and subscribe I was lost in a city dream and I was at home again beside the stream Then you walked past me And you saw me and smiled I will never forget The first time When I saw you I thought I lost my mind Blue and faded Blown away and left behind I hope you'll always be around Even if I fail You are like a summer breeze 